Hey there, I'm Tom Cubby, Senior Sales Support Engineer at Sony. Today, we'll be showing you how to set up Sony's multi-camera package, as well as our camcorder live streaming package. Let's get started. Our multi-camera control package allows a single operator to control up to four cameras with just an iPad, which can help you scale productions even with a smaller team. First, ensure that all cameras meet the minimum firmware requirements for the Sony Monitor and Control app, also known as MNC. Next, we'll set up our Wi-Fi router. The router is required to connect multiple cameras to the app. Press the on button on the router, usually a small circle on the back panel. Wait for the Wi-Fi indicator light on the front panel to turn green. Your Wi-Fi router should now be ready for Ethernet and Wi-Fi pairing. Third step is to enable wired LAN tethering. The Sony NX800, Z200, A93, and FX6 are compatible via Ethernet, also called wired LAN, with the MNC app. Long hold the main menu button located on the lower left side of the camera body to start the process. Once inside the main menu, use the top handle control pad to scroll to the network sub menu. It's the second to last icon. Navigate to the section titled Wired LAN. Select on and turn cam remote control to enable. The camera should now be ready to connect via ethernet. The FX3 and FX30 are only compatible with Wi-Fi tethering for the MNC app. To pair these cameras, start by pressing the menu button. Once in the main menu, scroll to the network submenu. It's the second to last icon. Navigate to the section titled Wi-Fi. Select Wi-Fi Connect and select On. In the same submenu, navigate to and click on the access point set. Locate the name of your Wi-Fi network usually printed on the router, from the list on the screen. Select your Wi-Fi router name, then press OK. A circle check mark should appear next to the name of your selected router. Your camera is now ready to pair with the MNC app. Now that our cameras are configured, let's plug everything in. Attach one end of each Ethernet cable directly into the wired LAN connection of the NX800 or Z200 and one end into the router. For the Sony FX6, you'll need to use the USB-C to Ethernet adapter. Using a USB-C to Ethernet adapter, connect your iPad to the router. All cameras are now ready for pairing inside the MNC app. Open the app. On the top right bar of the screen, ensure that the multi-camera monitoring toggle is turned on. Your camera should start to appear on the screen. This may take several moments to complete. For cameras connected via wired LAN, press the connect button to pair. For cameras connected via Wi-Fi tethering, navigate to the menu of the Wi-Fi tether device, navigate to the network section, and select the first submenu titled connect PC remote. Select the PC Remote function and turn PC Remote to On. Then click Pairing. On your iPad, click the Connect button again. On your camera screen, the name of your device will appear. And that's it. You can now control all four cameras at once. To learn more about the MNC setup and its use cases, check out our overview video. Now we'll be setting up our camcorder live streaming package. We'll leverage the built-in RTMP and SRT streaming connectivity of the NX800 and Z200 camcorders to send footage directly to the streaming service. For this assembly, you'll need the following items. One Sony NX800 or Z200 camcorder, one USB-C to USB-C cable, one Sony PDT FP1, one SIM card, and a streaming service with an RTMP stream key and URL. 
To start, we'll need to configure the FP1. This device is 5G capable and can serve as a hotspot or provide cellular data for any camera to connect to. While both the NX800 and Z200 have built-in streaming capabilities, they still require a network connection, which the FP1 will provide in this case. First, insert a SIM card into the removable SIM card tray on the lower left side of the device. Navigate to the settings on the device. Under Network and Internet, verify that the carrier of your SIM card is listed and the status icon reads Connected 5G. Your FP1 should now be ready to share internet data with the camcorder. Next, connect a USB-C to USB-C cable to the port on the camera. Connect the other end into the USB-C port on the FP1. You must use the data transfer port, not the charging port. On your FP1, navigate to the Hotspot and Tethering section, go to Settings, then Network and Internet. Press the USB tethering toggle to turn it on. Go back to the main settings page and navigate to the camera wired connection page. Ensure that the tethering mode is toggled on. If it's off, turn it on and return to step two. On your camcorder, navigate to settings, then network, then USB tethering, and select on and set the camera remote control to enable. Navigate to stream and turn on. Now we'll start a live stream and get credentials to connect our camcorder. Navigate to your streaming service of choice. Start a stream and locate the RTMP stream key and RTMP stream URL. Copy these down somewhere for the next step. Open the MNC app on the FP1 and connect to the Connect tab. Under the Connection Method drop-down menu, select Tethering USB. When your camera appears below, press the Connect button. Once connected, locate the Stream Text button at the bottom scroll section beneath the Focus section. Click Stream and locate the scroll list at the top right of your screen. Choose one of the preset RTMP settings options and click the gear icon. In the corresponding sections, enter the RTMP stream URL under destination URL and the RTMP stream key under stream key. You can also set the resolution and bitrate before exiting. Finally, navigate back to your streaming platform you should see a live video feed from your camcorder. You may need to refresh the web page to load the video feed. Once you've verified the connection has been made, start your stream. And that's it, you're live for the world to see. If you have any questions regarding setup or usage, please contact us at the address on the screen. To learn more about this setup and its use cases, watch our overview video here. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content on our channel.